Hey guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot. I was just really called to bring a message for the sign of Leo. So if you are Leo, if it is your sun, moon, or rising, um, this may resonate, right, at some point. So I just want to say as well that we are, I think, in Leo. So correct me if I'm wrong, but it may just be also a message where we're all going to resonate. We may not. So take it what resonates for you and disregard the rest, okay? For all my subscribers, I love you guys. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. You mean the world to me. Seriously. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you feel like it resonates and you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. Join this journey with me. I'd love to have you along the ride. As well as, I'm just going to take a moment to call in spirit. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my team of light, and any of your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire um, collective. I ask you to join us to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages that are for the farthest reaching, but um, for top shelf, top notch messages, right? Only for the highest good. So, something submerged but I heard is about to be no longer, and eagle communication. This is very interesting. So, we have creation that's come out, dream time. Then we have the eagle and the communication with spirit. And something that may have been hidden for some time, it's about to be it's about to be out in the open or it's about to become clear to you. I think it's really important for you to acknowledge the spirit communication for some of you. I seriously want to say literally what it is is finding your rock in the moonlight or sitting down outside and um, for some of you it's you know taking that time to actively and intentionally um, connect with spirit and see what messages come through as well as for some of you whatever you know a lot of you are getting very um, heaven sent is what I heard or sent from your spirit guys or your communication in nature wherever it is however you you it works for you um, you're getting a lot of creative energy and spirit saying we really want to see what you have to offer what what it is it's time to you know maybe it's draw maybe it's paint Maybe it's um, cook, maybe it's beadwork, right? It, there are so many things. Woodworking, maybe it's... There's honestly so many different things that could be works of art, right? Writing. This could be hidden talents that you have. I think it's always important just to remember about this whole the iceberg thing, right? That there is often so much more at this, to this. Things could be deeper um, issues. And for some of you, I think what's happening too is the more and more... Um, they're, they're saying you're being initiated to the divine. For some of you, if depending on where you are on your ascension or what spirit has planned for you, spirit, this is just spirit saying it, um, leave it as you will, right? If you want to, if you're getting headaches a lot, for some of you, definitely go get checked out with the doctor, make sure everything's okay. For some of you, I am hearing like the spirit, spirit, you are getting upgraded. The pressure, there's could be ringing in your ears, it may come for... Um, they're saying three to five seconds, but be longer than that. You'll notice the pressure, then it'll be gone. For some of you, if you notice this happening as well, you may need to just definitely give yourself rest and write down any dreams you have. They keep taking me to this place of the snake. And the snake, um, has, can be seen as many, many things, right? But this is a very important, what I heard is spiritual union. They're also giving me the eagle and the snake. There is a, a symbology to that. I'm seeing the turtles in creation. Lots and lots of snakes. Just There's an important importance of um, what I heard is we may often see this as a shaman. As the people that we, you know we know, okay, that we, what I heard is we trust their visions or whatnot, or that have these visions and they're prophetic in ways. Um, I want to say it may not even be at the time that they know what they're speaking of, but it could be another person comes along and exactly knows what this is. Kind of like cave drawings. Uh, we were learning about sort of, um, cave drawings or not even cave drawings, just like carvings and what these meant and the teachings, right? And why they were left there and your interpretations and how your interpretations could change of these teachings over time. This is how we are in our spirituality, okay? 
So um, I want to take the look here because underneath was forest and breathe. They're saying in times of hustle and bustle and hassle, don't forget to breathe. It's so important as well as it's one of the things going to set you up for this communication with spirit. Because any meditation that we're going to go into, we're going to want to go, what I heard is with open lungs. For some of you, get your butts out to the forest, sit on a rock, you know, close your eyes, connect with spirit, um, pay attention to any animals that you're seeing while you're there, or what come to your mind, what guide your guides are bringing you. The Wheel of Fortune's in the reverse. This is the Cat Tarot. Very, very interesting spirit. What's going on? Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Um... I heard, now this is, I don't know what this means for any of you, but I, would, I heard it's not the same as it was before. Um, with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, I'm going to get you a message from the book for that. So this is number 10 as well. Just because this book is amazing for upside down. The card signifies the sense that things are spinning out of control and it may be best to sit down, to sit or spin or to it. Like I said, if things are feeling like, you know, we, a lot's going on, sit down, my friend. Take a seat. Pop a squat. You know, uh, close your eyes, take some deep breaths in and out. You know, slow yourself and honestly take it to five, take it to ten. Take it to wherever it is that you are pulling yourself in the present right now. And set, even if this is to meditate, setting those intentions but even if this is just a chill out this is sometimes what we need to do i feel like something's happening where you may be sniffing out a situation um the stars to me were always important for some of you to heard this is meeting new friends you may meet some new friends in a spiritual group um this may be as well that you have the king of pentacles it could be earth sign a virgo taurus capricorn um, but I feel like, tune in time, I feel like this is you, knowing you hold this whole bottle, this whole thing of treats, right? So I feel like in some ways, this cat doesn't really give a crap about the treats there. He just wants to know, like, who is this? Like, how are you going to react? And I think it's going to be important for you to know, um, that... I heard you don't have to fight for treats. You have them. You already have whatever it takes. You already have... You've got the tuna. So I flipped out the emperor. You could definitely be divine masculine. Like, um... Or... I'm trying to remember what masculine is. But this is you knowing. Um... For some of you, I heard shot call. Oh my gosh. But I also heard, you know, you may feel like you've been collared off. Or you may feel like... Um, there's been times where you've not been able to speak your truth because there's something that's constricting you, right? I mean, for some of you, you know it's been for your own good. For some of you, these are your own walls, right? Shit that is, um, that is just really has you, what I heard is hesitant. But I feel like you know that this emperor as well is a very, very grounded, very, very stable, very, very authoritative individual with this king of pentacles here. Um, I definitely do feel like this could be you, someone in your life, even if you're not, uh, you don't identify as a masculine, like this still could be, you know, these qualities I heard in business for some of you. Um, but this could also be someone else, right, that in your world, okay, that you're sniffing out. And there may, like I said, walls are up. So Spirit, tell me about this Emperor with the Five of Pentacles. Well, and again, like I heard, like it's it's not the same this time. Uh, you may know this person from before, and this is also where the more you connect with spirit and um, get in tune with yourself, I feel like there's a lot of lessons that you're learning. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. There's a lot of lessons that we're learning, so they want me to take this one too with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom. Not being in balance, waiting and hoping for things that have changed, but there's like this particular thing. Um, you're just ready to tear it all off the roll, right? Like you don't give a shit. You're gonna, you're ready to be playful, ready to whatever in the past may have stopped. <laughs> 
What I heard is gonna let a cat be a cat, my friends. And Leo, you guys are the lion, right? So they have <laughs> we have the Queen of Cups here. And I think that for some of you guys, you know, this is definitely a heart situation. Um, this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Like, you could have a water sign in your life. But again, it doesn't matter, like I said, because depending on their placements, and it's just someone who's very, very loving, giving, and kind. And I do feel like with strengths here in the reverse, it's because I feel like if this is your energy, um, you, this person, <clears throat> this person has been able to, what I heard is maybe bypass some of the walls that you would normally put up. And for some of you, oh my gosh, I just look down and it's like he's, he's rolling his eyes at me as I was going to say this, okay? For some of you, like this person, it, it was very fast, again, for you, for you or for someone else to, to get in here and they normally don't let their guard down like that. So they may be, um, what I heard is kind of standoffish. I also heard quote unquote kind of dickish sometimes, uh, giving no excuses for it. So take that if it resonates or doesn't resonate, but it's just, a there is an arrogance or kind of cockiness I heard as well. But I do feel like there's a lot of truth in this emperor's eyes as well. But, huh, tell me about this queen, please, this queen of cups, this queen of cups. It may also be, like, just sniffing it out and realizing, like, whatever's happening is very loving, giving. I also heard ritual, for some of you it could be marriage, ceremony, or we have the six of coins, so coming into a balance and abundance. Um, four of wands in the reverse could be marriage, definitely ceremony. But what I'm hearing about this is for some of you, you could be like going to kind of spiritual ceremonies or is this is the ceremony and ritual you do within your home and your connection to spirit as well is going to foster much more calmness and feelings of, you know, what I heard is worthiness, but also who you are, how to assert, you know, your boundaries and how to just give up and be like... You know, not give up, but be able to have um, the life you, what I heard is the life you want to create. I think <clears throat> communion's important. Well, I think it's important, but communion being so important here, I feel like it really is bec why this Emperor and King of Pentacles are here. Just because, you know, there is a place as well, what they're saying with spirit is where we may put walls up, whatever we're other people we need to let spirit in okay you have the seven of cups in reverse chariot could be a cancer but movement forward temperance in the reverse and the four of wands in the reverse if you have a choice to make um or again if you feel like it could be also like just for some of you, if something, you know it's south, it's not saying stay here. It's, if you feel, this is saying in all times, feel things out before we jump in and dive in head first. Because sometimes there's some weird shit. It's kind of like you don't jump into a lake, the world in reverse, or a river, or a body of water without knowing the depth and making sure that you're not going to dive in to a pool. You know it's going to break your fucking neck when you hit down, right? This is, sniff things out a little bit. Um, pay attention to the dreams and the symbols that Spirit's giving you and follow your heart and your intuition, my friends. Um, and for a while, what I heard is if you need to be a big, lazy cat and just lay around and take your time to heal, because for some of you, if you do feel like things are spinning under control, there's been maybe a lot of trauma to your nervous system. Um, but taking those deep breaths in and out, for some of you as well, what they're saying is stream of consciousness writing, just... If you feel like so inclined when you're talking to spirit, first off, they're saying be very uh, discerning. Make sure that you are asking only um, helpful spirit guides for your highest good in, right? That you're making sure that you are protected, safe. I would like to always call in Archangel Michael. I don't know if I did. Yeah, I did. But I always find that making sure you are protected, you're making sure you're not calling in trickster spirits or dark spirits or anything like that. And it's not to scare you. No, absolutely not. It's just that it, also with that too if we if we don't understand things 
it's kind of like I'm thinking and give me an example of like a lot of people watch the craft I think it was and they're trying to do seances and stuff like that I mean I remember one time my friend wanted to do it when we were kids and I had no idea what we were doing and I'm glad that like I didn't do it um but there is like kind of I think we were involved and I my mom had already taught me a little bit of stuff like making sure that you're you're not um opening up to that kind of stuff but like it, it could be very very scary because you don't really know half of what you're digging into right um i hate this term but they're using like baby witch when we're first learning right we don't know how powerful we are um i think that that's just a big thing in general too and it's it is really you're going to learn this okay but i think for some of you as well it's going to be in those quiet moments that you're going to realize like spirit really does come through this four of wands is in reverse again so i'm going to read to you the book as a final parting message on this four of wands but just remember to follow your dreams and again don't don't worry here if you decide that right now you want to go do one thing this is your dream and you figure out it's not and that you change your mind don't think it's being a quitter you got to try right and if it's not yours want to do something you hate for the rest of forever? No. Nope. Like it? Sniff that shit out. That's the title. Sniff it out. So we're looking for the Four of Wands in reverse. The Four of Wands foretells instability, either internal or external. This may accompany feeling neglected at a place or separated from loved ones. Refocus on everyday pleasures and for foregoing, reforging connections. So first off, I think that's where they're saying, you know, Take some time, be a big lazy cat, um, sniff it out, and let yourself heal. In this time, you know, pay, just do stuff that um, bring you joy, and it might be that for a while, for some of you, but I heard Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Five of Cups in reverse. For some of you, Emperor here, you still may feel, or what I heard is you may have been something major may have happened where you do feel unstable and um for some of you maybe see if there's something you craft you can make some money at and where is it that you can bring balance and again like try out doing things because we never know if we're gonna like it but there may also be a lot of um intuitive messages you're receiving so if you are outside pay attention to the birds the wildlife animals things you hear um and make sure that i heard is you're connecting once a day want to try it out for a couple days, the same 30 days, you know, see how you feel. Call in spirit, take a, what I heard is, well, you could do a minute, you can just take a minute. Did you get a minute for 30 days? I know, I'm hard, <laughs> it's hard for me too, I don't do it every day, but maybe I should start too, right? A minute every day, just to go out there and sit there for a couple minutes, even if it's one minute, right? Breathing in and out, breathing in and out and just silencing and seeing what messages come to you and um seeing what the divine has to offer i think that's all i have today any party messages on thank you ace of wands find something new to do right um <laughs> it's like you don't have to follow the crowd either be discerning okay again sniff it out but see if you'd like it my friends that's what I have to offer. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, month, whenever it is you get it. I just hope that things are going well for you. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.